senescent cells are old cells that stop dividing and put out inflammatory molecules called cytokines. And they've been shown in animals and some studies in humans that if you get rid of them, kill them off, the body recovers and, and heals and becomes more youthful. Um, and it, that includes treating metabolic disease and high blood sugar as well. And Jim Kirkland, who's at the Mayo Clinic, is the world's expert in this, and he's running human clinical trials. So he's a friend of mine, so we, 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 we're up to speed on that. And what he's shown is that there are plant molecules and some drugs that work to kill those senescent cells and not so much normal cells. Of course, you, you don't want to touch the normal cells. There are drugs, there's Navitaclax, there's Desatinib, but the ones that are available to the regular consumer are quercetin, which is, again, a, a plant polyphenol, similar in shape to resveratrol. Another one, I call it physetin, physetin. And uh, it's also a plant molecule. These two are shown to either prevent the senescent cells from secreting those inflammatory molecules. That's called a synomorphic. Or in the case of physetin, it's, it's actually can kill those senescent cells. And uh, there's a group at uh, University of Minnesota, uh, Laura Niederhofer uh, and Paul Robbins have shown that if you give physetin to mice, they actually live longer by about 10% by my recollection. But what's interesting about it, it also works if you give it to the mice midway through their lifespan to extend their lifespan. And the other thing that's not very well known, but because it goes back a number of years, but in 2003, my lab published a nature paper that showed that resveratrol activates CERT1, but in that group was also quercetin and physetin. And so those three are ones that I take regularly, not just mm -hmm. to, to work on senescent cells, but they also activate uh, so at once you get this double potential double benefit. Um, but overall, I, I, I think that senolytics are really interesting um, and can be really useful to prevent that type of uh, aging, which is called by, caused by inflammation.